Hey guys, it's MJ from Endless RVing. And as many of you know, I've been a professional dog trainer for over 10 years. And in today's video, I am going to give you some of my top dog products that Izzy and I cannot live without when we're RVing. For those of you that don't know us, we are Endless RVing. We're the channel that brings you the best in RV DIYs, product reviews, RV tours, and so much more. If you're new to the channel, we invite you to subscribe below, hit the notification bell, and if you're back for another video, we thank you for joining us. And stay to the end for a bonus that may only apply to some of you. First thing is a bowl. This is a non-spillable water bowl, best thing ever. Especially for those of you that has the big slobbery dogs that everything goes all over the place, right? You got your St. Bernards, your Mastiffs, pit bulls are pretty messy too. This is great. It's gonna stay in even if it's moving, there's water in it. When you're driving, it's gonna be fine. So along with that is this feeding tray that we use. So we, when they eat, we put their bowls on here. This is great because it keeps the mess off the floor. This is by Easyology Pets. It also has these on each corner to help it from not sliding. It's okay, it doesn't work great. I mean, it does slide a little bit, but it's better than if you just had a mat that would be moving all over the place. So number two is going to be a crate. Now, we got a crate off Amazon. We will put the links below, this and all the items actually. This crate is great. It breaks down, so we actually use it in the house and then we bring it on the RV with us. We use this for a couple reasons. We weren't using it for a while, but what happened is Bowser was waking up very, very early. And when he sleeps in his crate at home, he'll sleep late. So we started bringing the crate on here and now he sleeps in. So we don't have to worry about that. This is great though for dogs who like to, uh, you know, destroy things. If you're not on the RV, crate them. If they feel safe in their crate, it's their den, crate them. If you're traveling and they don't stay still, crate them. It comes in handy for so many different things in terms of flexibility and ease and also safety. And number three is the good old poop bags. Now there's all different kinds. You can use your bags from the supermarket that you get. If you're more environmentally conscious, they do sell biodegradable bags that you can get off Amazon. These are just regular poop bags that you can stick in your, in your bag or your pocket when you're walking them. Please pick up. We did a video, we're gonna link that above, called Campground Dog Etiquette. It's really, really important. Nobody wants to step in your dog's crap. So please pick it up. Keep these with you at all times. Number four is a collapsible water bowl. Super easy and convenient. You can hook it right onto your keychain or your belt, pops right open. If you like to take your dogs hiking when you're camping, this is the perfect solution to making sure they don't get thirsty when you're out there for a longer hike. Number five is a good harness. Now, there are tons of harnesses out there. I wouldn't recommend getting a harness that connects in the back. You wanna get any front connecting harness. In my business, we tend to recommend the Freedom No Pull Harness that's available on Amazon. We use that with most of our clients. There's a lot of controversy out there. What is a harness good, is a harness bad? Front connecting harnesses are not encouraging your dogs to pull. Back connecting harnesses do. Along with the front connecting harness, you obviously have to teach your dog to walk well on a leash, but the harness is just a tool to get to that point. So front connecting harness is really the one I'm gonna recommend. Buckle collars and other types of things. You can cause some injury to your dog's neck. A front harness is really the way to go to teach a dog to walk better and to have more control without hurting them. Number six, mental stimulation toys. Now, mental stimulation is really important for dogs, especially if you're going to leave them on your RV and go do something. We can't expect them to just sit there and twiddle their thumbs and wait for you to come back. We have to give them things to do. There are a myriad of things on the market that you can give your dog to do while you're not there. And I've talked about this in some other videos, but there's a couple things. One is a Kong. Kongs are well known. You're gonna stuff those things. There's on the Kong website, there's all different recipes, thousands of recipes that you can find. You can do a Kong wobbler that kind of rolls back and forth and knocks out kibble. You can even feed your dogs their meals this way instead of throwing it in a bowl and, and it's boring. This makes it way more fun for them. Another thing is an Omega treat ball. So you put kibble, or treats in there and they have to roll it around and the stuff falls out again. It's, it's working their mind, really making them think, I'm not bored, I have something to do when mom and dad are not here. 
So next one is a gate or a grill for your screen door, some type of deterrent to keep your dog from running out the door when you open it. Now, obviously the first thing would be training, right? You just wanna teach your dogs that it's boring to run out, okay? They get used to it after a while. It takes some patience and training, but if that doesn't work and you just want an easy fix, use a gate, put it right across your door or doors if you have multiple doors and you're safe. What happens is a lot of people don't have that and don't have a dog that understands they're not supposed to bolt. They open the door and the dog goes out and goes terrorizing all the other dogs in the campground. This is a real safe, manageable way to keep your dog safe and everybody else safe as well. Number eight, oh, this is a big one for us, is couch covers. Uh, OCD husband, as many of you know, Izzy's OCD with the cleanliness. I like a good clean place too. So we got two big pit bulls that when they come back in, yes, we allow them on the furniture and we don't want their dirty feet all over the furniture. RV furniture is very expensive and you wanna keep it clean. So this saves not only from dirt, but from tears from nails and things like that. So it's really, really critical to us. And I highly recommend getting yourself some couch covers. And number nine is a really cool one. We actually don't use it because we don't have a need for it, but I have recommended this to many clients for dogs who may overheat or just not do well in the summer, which is cooling mats. Cooling mats for dogs are great. That's exactly what it is. It's just a nice soft mat that has like a gel that you can freeze and it'll stay cool for your dog. Now, you gotta be careful if you do have a chewer, this may not be something that you wanna do because I know some of them can be toxic. So you gotta keep that in mind. These are really versatile because you can use them not only in your RV, you can use them at home if you have a sticks and bricks. You can also use them in your truck if you're, you know, if you're towing, whatever. You can use these anywhere. Dogs love them. And in, in those hot times of the year, it can really provide your dog some comfort. And for our bonus, this is a really cool one. And I was really excited when we did this. So we give Sierra and Bowser a raw food diet. Now, they're big dogs and this stuff would take up the entire freezer inside the RV. So uh, my wonderful husband, handy husband, Izzy, installed, well, we, we uh, made a spot for a portable freezer. So in here contains this awesome place to keep all of the raw food for Sierra and Bowser. So this way they don't have to take up our room and we can keep our food inside, their food outside. So if you have the room on your RV for even a smaller, I mean, they have sell smaller ones than this, to put something like this and you feed a raw diet, definitely the way to go. This has been a huge, huge help to us. So these are nine of our favorite RV top dog products. I'm asking you, put in the comments below, what are some of yours? There are so many more, so many more. So please feel free to share them. Also, in the description below, you will find links to these products. So if you'd like to buy them, go for it. If you find them cheaper elsewhere, do that as well. And from myself and Izzy, we thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the road.